Hello guys, this is Zorlak and welcome to another video. Today we are talking about defending B on Dust2. You know Dust2, everybody loves Dust2, but you know, I see many people not defending B um, on a proper matter. I'll just show you how I do it. Um, I do it because, you know, I watch a lot of pro players playing. So basically I'll just give you good insights inside, uh, out, uh, about how to defend B. We're going to talk about a lot of things, about how you should stop the rush, how, sh how you should behave versus the possibility of a rush, how you should play with a lot of spam, you know, a lot of utility, how, sh how you should play without utility at all, because sometimes you can't afford it. And then how should you behave versus AWPs uh, trying to pick you inside B? Uh, how should you behave when they attack me to B with one or two guys lurking from the upper tunnels? We will talk about a little bit of everything. Just let's go and let's do this as quick as possible so you guys don't get bored, you know? So the first thing you need to stop the B rush, right? When they rush B, they normally tend to flash. So the first thing you need to do is basically go for the smoke or go for the flash. I like to 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 use a oh Jesus! I like to use a flash at the start of the round. That you can actually use a Molotov if you think the other guys have like tech nines or something. So if you read the the opponent's uh, economy, if you feel tech nines, if the tech nines uh, you know just spawn to the B side uh, of those two, they will probably rush it. So. Uh, that's a good uh, a good time for you to drop your Molotov. But aside from that, I normally tend to smoke, you know, just smoke and run in outside B. So uh, just see the mechanic, you know, you just come, you smoke, and you go out to draw your weapon. You wait a little bit because of the, the flashes can drop, and then you go in. This for, the, the same thing applies when you're playing from, when you're getting inside from window. You just smoke, you go out, you know, you let your smoke pop, you wait for flashes to come out, and then if nothing happens, you can just get inside B and get control of platform or something like that, all right? The another thing is you need to know how to react to flashes popping out. So it went, while you are doing this, if you see flashes popping out, well, that's not a big deal. If you are here, you can just flash there, right? Or you can flash like this. Just take it out. Take, take care of it because it's from here to here, understand? You just leave it with your left button and it's perfect this flash is insanely good because you know it flashes a guy getting in here progressing to this side it flashes a guy going car too he gets blind he just doesn't get blind if the flash pops immediately when he's checking right this corner right but that's just one millisecond right so this is how i flash from door to contest the entrance right if they smoke a close one like they, they like to smoke uh, a close smoke to get inside B. Don't be afraid to Molotov behind it, okay? Just don't be afraid to Molotov behind it. This will make them jump over there most of the times and you will be prepared for it. Another way to get inside B, you know, you, see, you, you, you just smoke. The flash is the most important thing, obviously. And you just turn around and get control of car without mi with minimal noise, right? So, and you just wait for them. Uh, if they smoke a little bit further, which is common, right, they will leave a gap and this place is insane for you to get some entries, unless you get flashed. So this is why it, this is why it's very important to get inside B and turn your back to B for a little bit of time. Uh, it also depends on how you cross to B uh, too, because if you lose a lot of time, you know, uh, just coming... Uh, upper here and jumping, avoiding the AWP shot or going or crossing close to the wall, to the doors. I will just talk to you about crossing right now. Uh, but the, mo the, main, the main thing is that if you, if you take a, lo uh, a longer route crossing mid, you should, be, you should uh, uh, care because the contact will be made a little bit uh, sooner when you arrive to B, right? So the thing is, how do I cross mid? This is actually very important too. I cross mid mainly from here without any spam. You can actually use a grenade on the right there that blows over here and you can send it through spawn. Uh, you can use a smoke over here or... Or, or here just to, to cross inside the smoke. But if you do not want to, to use any utility, just trust me, come here and run into the wall, okay? You just don't cross and do like this. You will get bang, wall banged or something. You don't want that. You want to cross and run into the wall, okay? I will show you why. Hmm. We will probably need uh, an AWP for this. But this is important, okay? Most of you guys... Uh, probably don't know this so if you, even if it's just one of you guys that don't know it uh, it's important okay you will be crossing 
over here with your head. It's just insane. And, and since you are running into the wall, the guy will just pop you right here and you will always miss, okay? If the guy is popping, if the guy is, uh, is right here, he will not even be able to bang you because he just sees like a little bit of your helmet and the bang it's not good at all because of these boxes make it really hard so you will make the best AWPs in the world f uh, fail this shot if you know how to cross just use the shadow and run with your, with your knife out into the wall so inside B uh, let's do it again I guess so I get the M4 I think it's easier because most of you players in B um, like to bring the M4 and playing with the AWP on B is just it's just too easy, you know, it's just standard, everybody knows it, you know, just go platform or, you know, play on barrels or inside side, and you will do it. So, the thing is, you're already in B, you wasted one smoke, right? And you're defending B. So, you have a lot of utility. So, let's talk about playing with a lot of utility. Playing with a lot of utility, I like to draw my, my grenade out and just run over here until I see anything. When I see something, I stop. I don't re-peek, okay? I just stop. So, you the, the problem is you can see someone by running to the left or running to the right and your behavior swaps because you're on a different on a different place. So, if you're if you are running and you get here, okay? And you see something, you just draw the grenade out and then you flash over there. You can flash a little bit to your left actually. And then you go for it. Just flash and contest okay get your entry kills right here you are just making oh, uh, their, their, uh, their lives a living mess that grenade will help you a lot winning that those faces and that flash will make the awp's life uh, a living hell the ak's will not have but you will not have any advantage over you the thing is you need to flash and go for it okay i obviously go for it on top of it like you saw but you can actually go for it also here and even go full contest and try to aim right there okay sorry I uh, got a little bit of a cold. So if you are running and taking EFO and you stop on the left side, well, the grenade is not that good, okay? It's not as good whatsoever unless they push, right? But the flashes, well, you can flash a lot of places. You can flash there, you can flash there, and you can also flash there, okay? So, oh, Jesus Christ, I was looking at it and it went too high. Okay, so these are the three flashes I like to use. Okay, and then when you flash, you need to come and kill them. Okay, <clears throat> I never face, I've, I never flash and face over here because with your flashes, they tend to go back, right? And, and with your grenade too. So if they go back and you flash them, you j I just tend to face them here or obviously come here. While I do the swap, I put my crosshair there, okay? To see if someone goes, goes cocky on me and then I'll just take care of my entry sometimes I get a guy over here I just get the entry and then I play from devil's box okay double stack on B okay so this is how I play with full um, with full uh, uh, utility so how do I play without utility at all so it's not that easy when you're playing with low utility because you need to you know sometimes I even keep the smoke um, I don't use it at the start of the round, uh, so this is how bad it is, but you can use it, for example, to do something like this, you know, to just get inside, up the wall with the smoke, and then you can just jump, for example, without any utility, from here to here. It doesn't do any noise, and it's a pretty good uh, position when you don't have any utility whatsoever. The other way to do it is you, you can actually bring the smoke, or just try to shoulder peek, yourself into you know to just get get some info if you don't see anything you can just hug this one right here how do you play on this platform with with an m4 it's pretty easy you just need to be patient and wait five seconds okay you just get down you count to five and after five seconds you go up and you kill what you see okay if you don't see anything you just sit down again and you count five seconds it's not three seconds you need to be patient three seconds is just too quick you just need to count five seconds, go up, and you kill them. Why? Well, most of you guys already understood it. They will clean this. They will clean this, right? But they will not stay here. Most of people will not stay here. Well, if you're playing versus clans, versus great players, they will probably stay here a little bit. But five, that's why three seconds, it's, it's not good enough, right? So they will then keep 
controlling the angles, right? They will keep, con keep controlling angles. They will control here, care about here, care about here. Go, you understand? So when they control your your platform box, they will just keep controlling stuff slowly, but they will. So when you peek from there, they already control it, and you're not there. So when you repeek, it's just facing other place. So it's just an easy kill. He needs to flick shot you, and each, he, and this headshot, it's pretty well. It's pretty good if you have your crosshair there like this, but uh, if you have your crosshair outside, it, it's just insane. Right? You need to to draw an insane AK shot or even a, a great AWP flick, and you have so much advantage doing this, taking the entry. Aside from that, then you can just uh, scream for help, right? Uh, for from your uh, mid uh, counter terrorist friend, right? Do you, the, the guys are pressing in B? Please spam the hell out of them, and then you can repeat if uh, after the your friend's flashes or something. Or you, if you're if you're alone, well, you will have to deal with them. You just go into aim shots, but your first kill is clean, and we talked about it before. The cleaner it gets the best, best chances you have to kill the second guy or even the third guy. And if you get a little bit lucky, you can ace them, okay? So this is how I do it when I do not have a lot of utility. Another thing I like to do, I learned with Mr. Get Right, okay? Which is you smoke there, you come here and you wait, okay? You wait right here. The guys will not look at you. Trust me, they won't, okay? They will put their crosshairs there and they will not see you. And then they will not put their crosshairs there. This doesn't happen. Even at level 10 in face it, I don't care what what uh, ranks do you guys have. This doesn't happen, right? So the thing is they control here, they don't see it. They go there, they don't see it. When they go from here to there, they're dead. This is the first kill, clean kill, 100 to zero, full commitment, just spray them. You'll get the first kill and well, God save your soul, right? Then after that, it gets messy, but the first kill is clean and you can easily get the second one too, all right? Just trust on your on your plays and just do that play 10 times, 20 times, 100 times and you will get really strong doing it like Mr. Get Right, you know? Mr. Christopher Alessund or something like that. I don't speak Swedish, so but I'm a big fan. I'm a really big fan. So big shout out to, to, to Mr. Get Right, one of the best players of 1.6 of all times, in my opinion. All right, so let's keep it up. So this is another play that you can do without um, using utility. But obviously they can come B more than once. And I showed you how to dance here. Now I'll show you another play. So you can just jump from here, right? I like to jump from there. I think it's easier for me to jump from there than from up there, right? And just stay here. So this is a mixed play. Why? Because you can do this with or without utility. The, the, the thing you need to understand is that the first kill is 100 to 0. Even if it's an AWP or something, you do not care. You just need to kill this guy 100 to 0. I don't care how you do it. The, after you kill the first guy, do not get cocky. So you just disengage. You either start spamming, you know, you know, like flashbangs or something like we talked before when you were on this side. You know? So you can flash here, flash here, or flash here. All right? So you can either do this after you kill the first guy and then you will probably face them over here because you see the first contact is very close. So it's normal for you to kill the first guy and the other guys just run inside. So the first contact is here. If you don't see it, you get there. Don't get too cocky on this play because you, the contact is it's, uh, it's way closer than you are, when you are looking over here. You need to understand the difference between getting info of a player right there or getting info of a player you know above, above this box right here you understand and obviously you need to understand when you are seeing this sometimes you can see a guy close to you well if you if you see the guy very close it's like the same of watching here right so you need to adapt about the type of information and you need to adapt your utility and your face after you use your flashes just you need to understand that after you flash you need to kill them you don't flash and wait uh you know right here this is that this doesn't make much sense you flash you kill them right so this is another play that i like to do uh, obviously you can play from car too uh, you can play you can play on other places like uh, for example like stewie likes to do right here okay when you don't have any any utility you can actually use this play um and basically that's that's it obviously swap my plays with yours, not just swap, but mix them to get your own 
uh, identity and to be strong so just because i do these plays it doesn't mean you should also do this or just do this okay there are other play plays that are really correct and makes make a lot of sense just use your plays mix them with mine and you'll be a strong player i promise you all right so the thing is you can be attacked from from mid to b right if your player knows how to deal with 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 mid you will be playing from inside bomb site unless he's outside with a partner that just rotated to ct or set or something okay so if your mid player is with you you need to know how to adapt to the mid b uh, attack all right obviously take care of this the best place the best places for you to play at are above uh, or not above below the window you know or behind the xbox all right these are basically the best plays that you can do there are another plays that you can make i will show you right but um, these are probably the most important ones all right just care about one thing when you're playing be uh, um you know behind xbox just don't take too much attention to the to the door and pay more all of your attention or most of your attention to your window just listen to what's happening if you see something if you hear something going door just swap and you this box the, the double stack will protect you from uh, from window right and you can kill the guy from door but most of terrorists they will like to go window why because to go mid b they always smoke here and your awp on a can kill them on on door you know high level players they all know about this so they prioritize going window Okay, your your job is to you know take care about window and do not get yourself flashed because they will flash to get inside B from mid to B. G two like to rush out, so when you when you think that you should rush out, like your 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 mate just screams Jesus Christ, it's mid. Don't be afraid to just mollow because that's where they want to come from and just use two of your flashes right there and go out. Okay, just go out, take care of business. If you don't see anything, they, you will. They will be flashed right here. Okay, just take your kill, take your second kill, and just whatever. Okay, you can jump back in. When I do this, I always I always go for two kills. I don't get too risk to to rushy with my crosshair. I just kill the first guy slowly because they are always blind and close. So the first kill is simple, not so fast, but simple, and then you can just you know go for the second guy and jump. If you don't see anything, just go pre-fire here because the guy is over. He, he was coming door, you know. The guy was just coming door and he gets flashed, so he will just run here, right? So take care of this guy if you don't see anything. If you want to just kill one guy and go inside, back inside, then you can just be smart. Another good play for you to do, if you have, if you still have the smoke, it's basically come here, okay, and hug that corner over there with your right, uh, with your mouse too. Leave it, and this is a one-way smoke. Okay, so you don't see them getting inside from window, but when they go back, okay, you can just kill them from here, kill them from here. You just need to, to know where to put your crosshair, and you need to kill them from 100 to 0. At this distance, it's not that hard, okay? You will get the first kill for sure. The guy will just scream car. The second guy will open, but he will, he will not be able to see you. I will just use it again, okay? Just for, for you to see, all the guys cannot see you, you see, you're not, see, they say car, they will look and they don't see you, if they do not know uh, this smoke and it's going to be a hell of a problem, but you can deal with it pretty easily, okay, you can deal with them pretty easily, they have a lot of angles to cover, so I'll assure you that smoke will give you a kill, <coughs> sorry guys, voice cracks, voice cracks every single video, so anyway, this is the most important thing, so I talked to you about going outside B, defending B from mid to B. If you get alone, your mid guy just dies, and you get alone in B and you're being flanked from B and mid to B, the pressure is not at you, the pressure is on them. You can still carry the round, play with your sound, use uh, positions that are intelligent, like this, this, or even the smoke on car. It can work, even versus a split. Just be smart. You're, you're, uh, it won't be that hard to take one kill, but it won't be enough. You need two kills to provoke a 3v3 situation of retake. So it's all on you. It's um, obviously um, a problem for you, but in terms of uh, tactical um, evaluation, the pressure is not on you because you're on deep trouble because your mid mate just fucked up. You understand so when you get alone in b just don't panic don't just don't try to 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 look at, at everywhere or just run around like a crazy man just 
play smart use that position this position the car with the smoke position is also very good too just take care of the first guy cleanly just listen to your uh, to your uh, to your uh, sound okay to your ads uh, to your headset i hope you have a 5.1 or at least headset because you know 7.1 doesn't work on counter strike at all so so you can understand perfectly what's going on outside this wall and then good pre-fires and always focus the window before you focus on doors i see a lot of players just staying here and putting all the efforts on door well it's the other way around because of that smoke because of the awp speaking through the smoke all right if you're playing gold or something those guys are not going to be able to they don't know you can shoot through the smoke most of them so yeah looking at the door makes sense but aside from that well it doesn't okay so basically this is it i will just show you a good um, a good pop flash right here i think it's right here if i remember correctly okay this pop flash is insane okay as you can see you can use it to make aggression play aggressive plays on b so you can just smoke uh with a lot of strength put your teammate close to the smoke you know and then you flash for him the guy will push and you can kill the lurker easily he will always get flashed okay so this is something that uh, playing on bomb site involves aggression many of you like to push b right so do it with your teammates uh flash for your teammates with a flash and a smoke uh you can have the smoke on your on your teammate you can get control of the upper tunnels this flash is insanely good the, the a guy over here will get flash a guy over here will get flash a guy over here will get flash too so it's just easy kills and even if the guy uh, faces like three guys on upper tunnels and when you are losing and when you are um, going for uh, for aggression plays it's when you are losing there won't be a lot of players on uh, on upper tunnels even if they are three or something this flash is going to be insanely good okay you can get a lot of kills or you can just get one kill or two kills and disengage through the smoke and avoid uh, a rotation from the lower tunnels guy that one guy that was just checking lower tunnels okay so this is the aggression play that i like to do on b so basically plays with utility plays you without, without utility behavior to stop the the brush okay care getting inside the, the bomb site do not get inside the bomb site like a crazy guy you know like this you know you just smoke and you go go like this this is insanely bad okay this i cannot emphasize enough how bad this is right because you're looking to the place where the flashes are dropping this is just suicide right use the molotov if you think they are rushing uh, many times the flashbang for the rush b it's more important it's the most important thing okay smoking the entrance is actually very good too but flashing the entrance of b is, is actually very good to stop rushes too so if you feel the rush is coming don't be afraid to use um two uh, of your utility like molotov into a smoke or flash you know, or smoke into a molotov or flash into a or flash into a smoke okay that's how that's how you like to play so aside from that behavior versus me to be i think it's all okay so this is a kind of a long video uh, actually it's a, it has a lot of information but still i think uh, it gives you a lot of great plays plays that uh, pro players use um, and um, you know tendencies from different types of players if you want to check uh, defense in b you should actually in my opinion check mouse sports or which is the best team in the world playing this two for me or just take a look at the uh, gamers too okay because they they tend to go aggro outside con uh, uh, when contesting the mid to be and you will see a lot of good flashes a lot of good plays and behaviors when you are getting flanked okay so i'm zorlak for me i'm done i hope you guys liked it you got new ideas and you can put them in practice on your games okay guys see you next video bye bye